Hi, from this video, I am going to show you the way of creating a Knight Rider scanner pattern using LEDs. The speciality of this project is it has a more realistic flashing pattern like original Knight Rider car. And also we can change its flashing speed easily. I will use Arduino platform to design this and I will fully explain the Arduino code also. So before going to the tutorial, I invite you to subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the future videos like this. Let's see the required components list to design this. We will need a breadboard, any type of Arduino board, I am using an Arduino Uno here. Dual LEDs from any color. Dual 220 ohms resistors. And few jumper wires. Now let's build the circuit first. In LEDs, the shorter pin is the negative pin. We are going to connect the negative pins of all LEDs to a common rail of the breadboard. Observe how I am placing LEDs on the breadboard. I think it is clear for you. Now let's place the resistors with LEDs on breadboard. One pin of each resistor should be connected with the positive pin of each LED. Do this for all other resistors. This is how it should looks like. Now let's connect these LEDs to the Arduino board using jumper wires. Connect the other ends of resistors with the digital pins of Arduino like this. We are using all digital pins of Arduino board from pin 2 to pin 13.
Now connect the negative rail of LEDs to a ground pin of Arduino like this. Then plug the Arduino board for computer. Before going to the code explanation, I am happy to tell you that we have started a special robotic course for Sri Lankan students who are interested in this field. Please read the video description for more details. Now let's see the Arduino code. At the beginning of Arduino code, I have initialized the digital pins of Arduino which has connected with the LEDs. Now let's come to the setup function. Inside the setup function, I have declared all of our digital pins into output type. Now let's move into the loop function which runs again and again continuously. In there I have declared a variable called t which is used to keep the speed of LED flashing. You can change it into the values like 50 or 100 and observe the change in speed of LEDs. Then you can see a for loop which has used to move the LED pan from right to left side. After that, you can see another for loop which is using to move the LED pattern to the opposite direction. So this is the complete code then, let's upload it to the Arduino board now. First, I am selecting the board type as Arduino Uno. Then I will select the relevant port and click the upload button. Now it will automatically start to compile the code and after that it will upload into the board. After uploading properly, it will show like this. If you have any troubles while uploading the code, please watch my previous tutorial which named as Arduino Tutorial for Beginners. I will include its link in the video description. Now you will be able to see the nicely working circuit. So, I think you enjoyed watching my video and got some knowledge through it. Please comment your issues and ideas in comment section and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let's meet for my new video soon. Thank you for watching.